guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So, andito na tayo sa part 4 ng ating direct variation which is, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung sa may table and kung paano ba tayo nag-graph ng direct variation. Okay, so basically, dito ko muna tatapusin yung direct variation natin in the meantime kasi maraming pa tayong lesson na dapat matakel na pang grade 9 math for this week. Okay. So, direct variation. You have to remember the concept of direct variation is summarized by the equation y is equal to kx, where k is the constant of variation. We say that y varies directly with x if y is expressed as the product of some constant number k and x. Ibig sabihin, masasabi lang daw natin na ang y varies directly siya kay x kung equal siya sa product ni x at nung constant. Okay. So let's say for example, eto. Example. Tell whether y varies directly with x in the table below. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo kanina, malalaman lang natin kung, kung varies directly si y kay x kapag multiply natin yung x doon sa constant. Okay. Then, nakuha natin yung sagot na y, yung, yung y value natin. If yes, write an equation to represent the direct variation. So, andito na, nakita nyo naman na lahat, finlash ko na. So, kapag daw yes, kung... If it, if it varies directly, then we need to write an equation. So, ito yung solution natin. To show that y varies directly with x, we need to verify it by dividing x, ay, y by x. Okay. So, we need to verify if dividing y by x always gives us the same value. Okay. So, dapat, ito yung given natin. So, we have x value na 3, 5, 7, 9. And yung corresponding value niya sa y, which is 6, 10, 14, and 18. So, sabi dito, kailangan natin i-divide si y kay x. So, kapag nag-yield siya with the same answer, yun yung tinatawag natin constant. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagbago, kaya siya tinawag na constant. And, kapag may constant, that means, um, this is what we called a direct variation. Okay, so divide muna natin. So, eto na siya. Nilagay ko siya dito. So, 6 divided by 3, ayon we have 2. 10 divided by 5, we have 2. 14 divided by 7, we have 2. 18 divided by 9, we also have 2. So, that means this is an example of direct variation. So, paano natin ilalagay siya in a form of, um, tawag dito? Paano natin siya ire-represent? Okay, so alam natin na ang formula natin or the representation of the direct variation is y is equal to kx. So that means, isa substitute lang natin yung constant natin, yung k natin, which is 2, doon sa k, that, uh, for it to become y is equal to 2x. So y is equal to 2x is the representation of the direct variation or equation that will represent the direct variation. Okay, so paano naman tayo nag-graph ng direct variation? So, same given, we have 3, 5, 7, 9 sa x with corresponding value on y na 6, 10, 14, and 18. When an equation that represents direct variation is graphed in the Cartesian plane, it is always a straight line passing through the origin. Okay, so dapat straight line siya. Think of it as the slope intercept form of a line written as y is equal to mx plus b, where b is equal to 0. So, kung alam naman natin na ang line, equation ng line ito, di ba ang equation ng line natin is y is equal to mx plus b? So, we can always think na ang um, equation ng ating direct variation ay equation landing ng line na y is equal to mx plus b, where yung b natin is equal to 0. So, para lang siyang y is equal to mx. Yung slope, pinalitan lang ng constant na k. Kaya y is equal to mx, y is equal to kx. So, paano natin uh, i-graph ito? So, since ordered pair yan, x and y ordered pair yan, maglalagay lang tayo dito ng, insert lang ako ng, maybe, uh, shape. Lagay tayo ng shape. Sorry for the delay. Ayan. 
Let's say, for example, si 3, 6. Saan nag-fall si 3, 6? O, pwedeng 3 dito, tapos 6. Ayan, 3, 6. Pwede dyan. How about si um, 5, 10? So, saan natin ito ilalagay sa 5? So, dito yung 5. Ay, dito yung 5, sorry. And then, dito naman yung 10. How about 7.14? 7.14. So, ganito lang tayo nag-graph ha. Remember that. 7. So, dito yung 7. And then, 14. Hindi lang perfect. <laughs> Pero straight line lang siya dapat. And then, 9.18. Ayan. 9.18 naman. Dito yung 9. And then, dito naman yung 18. Ayan. So, connect lang natin siya with a line. Ah, sorry. Line na lang. So, connect lang natin siya with a line. Ayan. Hindi <laughs> lang gano'n gano'n. Pero dapat magta-touch yan. Siguro, um, move lang natin to ng konti. Tapos, ayusin lang natin yung line natin ng konti. Ayan. So, that's it. Ito na yung graph ng ating Direct variation. Ayan. So, yun yung graph ng ating direct variation. So, I hope you learned something on direct variation. Please, do not forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa ating mga latest upload. Tomorrow, start na tayo ng inverse variation. Thanks for watching.